So I did come up with one. I did come up with another ranty vlog. Um, where do I put you guys? I'll give you a peek. Um, so I'm doing my last grilling of the season out here. You guys can see this is a tomahawk indirect heat. Uh, the rules for that are simple. The tomahawk is a very thick cut of meat. Uh, so you cook it longer, but you don't want to burn it. So you put it indirectly on the heat. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory, but if it isn't effectively, what you're going to do is you're going to put most of the, uh, of the coals on one side of the grill and then you, uh, and then you work through it, uh, gradually flipping about every, about every five minutes, making sure that you get an even cook on both sides. Um, as you as you bring yourself up to a mid rear temp, uh, then you can do the the searing or the finishing technique of your uh, of your favorite variety. Um, I'm running super duper low on charcoal, so I'm trying to make sure you can kind of play with your your placement. And then obviously, if you're going to cover it, you use your uh, your grill cover uh, to make the heat move over the uh, steak. Um, I like to finish using uh, usually some combination of oil and then like 30 seconds, direct heat, boom, boom, uh, quick flip, and then you let it rest for five minutes. And that winds up with a pretty decent tomahawk, but I, uh, I posted a video just being like, ah, it's kind of cold out, uh, it's getting dark really early, I'm out of my bag of charcoal. Uh, fun fact, I went through like 160 pounds of charcoal uh, from summer until now, which is pretty good, pretty good for cooking outside. Um, and that's, uh, that's not including all of the wood that my smoker went through. I've got an offset smoker over here uh, that I put a lot on, but somebody was like, <laughs> let me know when you're ready to upgrade your grill, little man. And I was just thinking to myself, I was like, man, I went through 160 pounds of charcoal. I probably went through another three or 400 pounds of uh, oak. And I did it all on a pretty, pretty medium sized uh, smoker. My smoker barely fits like a, a 20 pound brisket on it. And then it's got like room for sides and something to kind of block the heat from the, the firebox and the main thing, which I have a whole, I could, I could do a whole other talk about like how I set up my smoker to do uh, those 14, 15 hour brisket smokes. But uh, where do you think you're going, little dog? You going to college? You leaving? You live here, you're stuck here. Just cause that gate's open doesn't mean you get to go just running down the street, come on. But uh, she's out here cause she's pretty excited by the concept of the, uh, the steak that is. Um, but I thought about it and I was like, man, I think I, I think I grill a lot. I think I know a little bit about grilling. I'm definitely not like a, a, a grill expert chef or, or anything like that. I mean, I've never uh, grilled in a restaurant. I have done like some, uh, some pretty good cookouts. Uh, I've grilled entire uh, lamb before um, on a spit. I've never done a whole pig, which would be pretty interesting, but that's not the point. It was just, it was the nature of this uh, post from somebody that like, and I mean, not everybody shares every aspect of their life on social media, and I get that. But it's like somebody who's like about about my age and just has a really big grill and I think never uses it. And I was like, I see those all the time. I'll go to guys' houses, I'll go to people's parents' houses, I'll crash at Airbnbs, and the one thing that I see that like all of these, these ginormo propane, you know, big setup, offset burners, what have you, uh, have in common is that they're never used. They're like very poorly loved. And I'm like, this is an ego thing for some people. It's gotta be the whole like, oh, you need a big grill. And I'm just like, man, if you can't do it on a 22 inch Weber, can you even really cook? Like, do you really know what you're doing? You can feed a lot of people with a 22 inch Weber. And if you couldn't do it with a 22 inch Weber, I feel like in my case, at least, I'm so familiar with this concept, with this platform of, uh, of doing stuff and how things kind of time uh, doing it that way. I'm like, I would just get another 22 inch Weber. <laughs> like, and to be, to be clear, like the only grill thing that I picked up outside of the 22 inch Weber was an offset smoker. And if I ever did that again, I would build my own. And so I was thinking about it and I was like, you can even do at least a four or five hour smoke on a 22 inch Weber using kind of the, uh, the snake method of, uh, of stacking your coals and then putting your wood on top of that. It's not as good, which is why I ended up getting a smoker, but I was like, you can do just about anything with a 22 inch Weber. You can feed roughly any immediate family of any size, as long as you don't have like a dozen kids, you can feed everybody on a 22 inch Weber. You can do tenderloin, you can do virtually every cut of beef, 
Uh, you can remove the grate entirely and you can do like hanger steak and all sorts of stuff for like tacos and things like that. And I was just like, some people are crazy. Jake just came out. He's listening to me rant now. I'm ranting about how guys will be like, you need a bigger, better grill. And it's always the guys who never cook that think that they need a bigger grill. That's fair. Yeah. I think that that's pretty funny. I don't think it has any application to Nerf. Honestly, most of the people who buy tools for the hobby are using those tools for the hobby. Uh, virtually everybody that I know with more than like one or two 3D printers has a reason for having those printers. And in particular, uh, that one, the, the mentality there is more like safes, right? Like if you, uh, if you, if you're only going to get one, you should get the biggest one that you can because you don't want to buy two. Uh, and I don't think that that applies to like cooking, uh, realistically. I think, I think you shouldn't outpace the abilities of either yourself or your medium. It's actually more energy efficient to uh, to have a smaller grill, particularly if you're just doing, you know, one, two and a half, three pound tomahawk at a time to feed like you and a couple buddies. Uh, but again, like even if you're feeding the whole family, like if I had five people in my family, I could still do everything that I need to do on a 22 inch Weber. I don't know. That's the grill rant. Are these videos entertaining? Is this funny? Do people watch these? Do they like them? is complicated. I'm like, this is the kind of thing that like I would rant to my dog about. And in fact, that is sort of kind of what I'm doing here is just being like, Jinx, why do these dudes with small egos or with big egos and small, you know, why they, why they think that they need these huge grills and then they never feed anybody with them. That's the whole point of the grill is to feed lots of people, particularly outside in a social circumstance. At least that's what I use mine for. Anyway, um, if you're looking to get into grilling, I have lots of videos on cooking, both on the main channel and I think on this channel. Uh, if you ever have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram. Again, not a master chef, just really good at cooking meat outside. Got a lot of practice with that. And uh, if you want uh, that advice, you should probably be cooking on a 22 inch Weber because uh, because I will judge you based on your choice of grill, apparently, to the tune of a seven minute rant. Talk to you guys later.